everyone, today I'm here to do Michaela's bath routine basically, um, from start to finish, uh, how I prep the bathroom. Um, I'm not going to show you basically her bathing process, but I'll show you how we prep the bathroom, we wash her, and then what we do afterwards um, to get her all dried up in that. So this is our bathroom. I don't know if I've actually sat down and explained in a previous video, but there used to be a shower behind me and we took that out and now it is just a wall. So there used to be a wall here and then a shower stall here. And we didn't use this shower stall because our bathtub has a shower head in it. Um, so it was basically a waste of space and we just finished the floor. We still need baseboard around the edges, um, but I'm gonna hopefully pick that up today so that I can get that done. Um, and if you'll see above me here, it is a tracking system for Michaela. Um, and we put this in probably about a year ago, actually over a year now. Um, and basically what it is, is to help lift Michaela into the bathtub. However, we need to um, do something with the shower curtain so that you can actually run a line through it. Uh, you either need to have one that connects in between and you can take it apart or have it hinge or something like that. We've just never gotten around to doing it. So as of right now, we lift her into the tub. Um, it's quite harsh on our backs, but hopefully we'll get that fixed. Um, or in a future video, I'll explain why we haven't done it now that it's been a year since we gotten it. Um, so yeah. That's how we put her in the bathtub. And here, we have just this table here. It's a storage unit, basically. I keep all my towels and that in it. And it's basically where we keep the cat's food. And I end up moving it over here while we bath the kids, even Damien. Looks like someone put some food in there. Um, so I clear that off. Uh, even when we bath him and we stand him up here, it's just easier on our backs. Um, so what I'll do is I'll wipe this down with some Lysol wipes, which I have up here. So I take some Lysol wipes and I just wipe it down because the cats have been up there and that. And I mean, you don't want to have a clean kid and then put her on a dirty surface. So... You just wipe that down, and then it's all sanitized, and I'll let that dry for a little while, and what I do now is I open the shower curtain, and what I actually, actually I'm going to go grab my tripod. Okay, so now that I have my tripod set up, I'll be able to show you exactly what I do. So I open the shower curtain and basically all I do is just to get it out of our way is I kind of spin it like this and I throw it up over top and then that way it's just kind of out of our way. Um, our shower bar has two bars so that's where we hang our towels and I just kind of shove those back in so that they're out of our way as much as possible. And then what I do is I get all of her bath stuff ready. So we use Head & Shoulders Shampoo for her hair, as well as Herbal Essences. This is the Hello Hydration Moisturizing Conditioner. We use that um, because she has a very dry scalp and we don't find it works the greatest. I mean, there's other things I could use, but this works well for her. So I put that at this end of the tub because this is where her head is going to be. And then I use the soft soap body scrub and this, I have to buy the exfoliating one, um, which has like the little beads in it to like scrub her with. I just find it helps get all the dead skin off and that type of thing. So this is just in the blackberry sugar one. I know they had like a sea foam one or something like that, um, which I bought last time or her grandfather gave her last time. So we use that for her body wash. That goes at this end. I use it at the top, but I just like to have it separate. 
And then underneath in this cabinet here, I have, if I can find them, a whole box of washcloths. Like the little baby washcloths. And we use three of them total for her bath. So I use one for her face, one for her body. So like one is for her legs and her feet and her lady bits. And then the top is for her chest, her arm bits, that type of thing. And then I use one for her face. So that way I'm not cross contaminating anything. It just seems more clean that way. So I put two of them at the head of the tub and then I put one of them at the feet. So I think that's it for the tub. It's all set up. Um, actually, I'm going to switch out because I think this is pretty much almost gone. So I have a full one up here. I'm gonna put that there. And I just got shampoo all over me. Okay, so that is done. And the surface is now dry. So I'm going to actually grab her towels. Um, don't mind my house, it's a disaster. We're busy painting and stuff like that. I'll do a video on that later, but. Um, so, normally her towels are hanging here. Oh, that's one. Whoops. So I have one here, Bo usually both of them are there, but I think the other one's actually on the back of the door. So there it is there. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'll try and show. What I do is I lay one this way, like that, and it covers the whole surface. And then we lay the other one like like so so that way when we take her from the bathtub to the changing table her head will go here her feet will go here we'll be able to dry her off all around her and get her dry before we actually dress her so we do dress her while she's on the changing table so I'm just gonna go grab that and I'll be right back. I got her clothes, I also got a diaper. I grabbed that while I was in there. I have a pair of, woo, a pair of socks, a pair of pants, which we usually put her in pajama pants just cause they're easy, they're comfy, they're, you know, they're just comfortable for her. And then I just picked a t-shirt out to match. So these we set here so that they won't be in the way of the changing table. And we can basically take her out, spin her around, and put her there. So I think that's all for prep. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Oh, yes, the most important part. We have what's called a bath seat, which you may have seen in some of our videos. Um, this is basically just to raise Mikhail off the bottom of the tub. Um, you can put this into a sitting position, you can leave it in a laying position. You can actually make, I hope you can see this, you can make it taller by putting the feet out, which we do. So she still actually doesn't sit in the bathtub, she lays in the bathtub. So we take this and we actually put her head at the most sturdy end of the bath seat. Um, normally your feet would go here, but for Michaela, because she lays down, we put the sturdy end by her head and then have her feet at the top of it. So then I just take this and lay it in the bottom of the tub. So then it looks like that. And basically all it does is raise her off the bottom of the tub. It gives us a little bit of extra room uh, for the length of her because of our tub. It is angled, as you can see. So if this was um, straight down here, then we wouldn't really need this and we would just put her in the bottom of the tub. But because of that angle, she no longer fits in the bottom of the tub. And this is a five and a half foot tub, which normally they're only five feet. So it is a larger size tub. 
then all I'm going to do is fill up the tub until there's just enough water that it hits this and we used to keep her in the bottom of the tub in actually the water which I just thought was really nice for her because then it's warm um, it's not as stressful for her but because she is so big and we have to put her up on that I hate filling up the tub so much because we are on a um, septic system so we can't really fill the septic too much and we just you know wash her off we use the water and then drain it so um, I think that's pretty much it for bathroom prep um, and then all we do is we undress Michaela um, take her diaper off bring her in here which Kyle does he'll lift her down I'll help actually lift her down um, and then I'll start washing her. Beautiful girl, are you going to have a Bassies today? I think you need one. Yeah. You're going to have a Bassies. Going to go in the bath. I know you don't like it, but you always feel better afterwards. Yeah, you do. Another thing Kyle normally gets ready for me, because I always forget, but because I'm doing this video, I remembered. Um, I get a hairbrush and some q-tips. Um, I always clean out her ears after her bath and that's because it helps, um, the moisture helps loosen everything up and I'll clean out her ears and also this might be TMI, but I also, um, if she needs it, clean out her nose. Um, there's no way for her to clear her nose herself, um, so I actually go in with a q-tip and pull everything out. Again, that might be, again, that might be TMI, but it's the truth, and that's what we do. Um, and she's already got a hair tie in her hair, so we also put up her hair. Um, so that will be actually on the couch when we go back out. Okay, so Kyle is home, and we're going to get her in the bathtub. And I can't show you much, because both kids are naked. <laughs> So we take Michaela off oxygen while we bath her. It just, that way I can clean her face properly and she does well without oxygen, so. Oh, her hair. Well, it's not easy to do when. Say hi, sister. Yeah. Say hi, sister. Oh, damn, beautiful girl. Ready to get out? Ready? Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Here we go. Dry you off. I know. This is the worst part, huh? She always hates getting in her bath, but she always feels so much better afterwards. Arms up. Arms up. Oh, towel's cut. Arms up. Dry those armpits. Can you move it over there? There we go, bum. Get your clothes. All dressed, beautiful girl. I don't think we're going to put pants on her because it's really warm out, so. And if you listen to her, this is actually why she has oxygen, because it helps dry her saliva out, because otherwise, she sounds horrible. Okay, so I grab this towel. Come on, dude. I grab this towel so that we can continue drying her hair out here. Do you want to grab 
I take a wipe so that I can set the dirty Q-tips on it. Oh, careful, Damien. feel better now? You always feel so much better. You feel better? You look better. You look happy. You always feel so much better after your bath, don't you? Mm -hmm. She always has such a good night's sleep after her bath, too. Yeah. I love you, Buffalo girl. I'm so beautiful. You don't like that. Why do you got a tear? You got a tear in your eye. There we go. I love you. Well, guys, that is our bath routine. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Um, and that's pretty much it. So after her bath, I just basically sit with her for a little while let her relax and then i'll lay her down again usually she starts to get pretty phlegmy when she sits up so um she won't be up too long but yeah that's it so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing michaela and we will see you in our next video bye guys <laughs>